<sighs> oh, air. Just right. Now I'd better take off these wet clothes. Hello everyone, this is Kasumi, let's play Tomb Raider, the Remastered Edition. Los Alamos, New Mexico. Barbie Hamer. Still better explosion than in Christopher Nolan's movie. Original game had broken aspect ratio and colors on those videos, so people fix them. This is a modded intro. It was too dark. What's a man got to do to get that kind of attention from you? It's hmm? hard to say exactly, but you seem to be doing fine. Well, great. Though truth is, it ain't me that wants you. Oh? No, Miss Jacqueline Natla does. From Natla Technologies. You know, <laughs> creator of all things bright and beautiful. <laughs> Seal it, Larson. Ma'am. Feast your eyes on this, Lara. How does that make you? <laughs> I'm sorry. I only play for sport. But then you'll like a big park. Peru. I'm sorry. Vast mountain ranges to cover. Go if you get the wrong throat. Of ice, rocky crags, savage <sighs> winds, and there's this little trinket. An age-old artifact of mystical power is buried in the unfound tomb of Qualapec. <clears throat> That's my interest. You could leave tomorrow. Are you busy tomorrow? That's a matrix in her glass. And... Ah, Peru! Ancient Incan ruins, even though the uh, none of the animals we meet actually are native to Peru. There's no wolves, bats, or bears there. At least, not of this variety. Okay. Vamos, amigo. I think those are actually Mayan glyphs. And the uh, inscription inside would be at stack, so like completely different, mismatched. Like imagine if they made a game about Japan, but the artwork would be a mix of Chinese and Indian uh, glyphs and stitches. Kind of the same vibes. <laughs> Not really complaining, just pointing out trivia. Hey, good boy. Why can Clara use knife in the game? Ah, oh, apparently someone's a cat person. Rip Guido. Being Clara's travel guide is one of the most ungrateful jobs ever. So I have a reshade to get a better mm, look because original game is way too dark. And this is how it looked originally, except no, I have a mod that has Lara. updated and even further <laughs> it's always a little bit over bright but you'll see that it's worth it later down the line and the stage Lara almost became a hedgehog, rather, um, porcupine. So yeah, this is one of the uh, trickiest parts. I watched the trailer for the game, like a uh, pre-release version, 
And uh, the camera changes much more often there. They actually advertise it as a big feature. So yeah, I think this color correction that I did, like with all this stuff, uh, is much better than the original looks. You have a weird green tint. And I know, like, the original game is kind of greenish. But... Um... It just got too dark in too many places. <coughs> really hard to see. So, the first secret is here. I have no idea how to do it in <clears throat> quote unquote modern controls. So, and the med pack, I have them restored to red color because fuck Red Cross. The amount of hate we Ukrainians have for Red Cross organization is insane, but I thought it justified. Uh, to put it short, they uh, collaborate with the Russian army. They're not neutral. They're completely pro-Russian. And uh, they always complain that we don't feed Russians enough, even though prisoners of war that are, are, are Russians and are ca held captive by Ukraine always get really, really fat on our food and uh, the Ukrainians that they hold are looking like skeletons when they are exchanged if they are exchanged and there are zero, like not even a single time when Red Cross visited the Russian POW camps they just say, oh, they don't let us in yet they keep complaining about us so, screw them So, these were Wilbur and the Vil Vilma Gotham, Bruce Wayne's parents. And this was Brucey Boy himself. I am Batman. You were. Bam. Let me step on his neck. Come on. Mm, like this. Lara, the Conqueror. And, uh, yeah, there's no camera cuts here. And in like the pre-release version there were Yeah, a little bit over bloom here. The infamous secrets where you need to <coughs> press forward and R2 on modern controls or that girl Wayne men are much. So yeah, I know the the I screwed up the names of uh Wayne parents, but <laughs> I don't care. I don't remember how they are named. Okay, there's this camera cut. Uh, Laura is cute here. Okay, I think. Wait, there was a camera. Yeah, look. This is interesting. And. I don't know why they made the choice to make everything so hard to see. Mm, I'll probably won't be complaining too much because I did uh, a lot of things to like avoid that. And there are no flares in the first game. In fact, in original uh, there aren't even gun flashes, so you can't really set anything alight. So yeah, I was talking about mad packs, uh, rather Red Cross organization, and it's very corrupt. There are a lot of corruption scandals about them. But the uh, thing that's most annoying that uh, the people give them like endless donations because they're for some whatever reason considered reputable among people who didn't do five minutes of research into charities. And but the one thing that um, Red Cross does is uh, suing video game developers for using Red Crosses on medpacks, even though that's literally the symbol of health and medicine look they made a, a hole and now the only light is that the one that goes from here and not like overall i like the effect it looks really nice but really i prefer to see where i'm going aren't there supposed to be walls here no just bats 
So yeah, this tumble was not in original Tomb Raider. It was added in 2. And the reverse version. I didn't even know it's in 2. I only learned it about it recently. <clears throat> original level d did look really nice. Original Lara model is shit. So that's why I changed it. It's, uh, it's not like uh, completely authentic. It, I, I like how it has FMV styled face. I mean, in the old version. But it has uh, Tomb Raider 2's shoelaces and shirts, so yeah. Anyway, uh, I was saying how the organization that's supposed to take care of like conditions uh, prisoners of war are held, instead of doing that, is suing video game developers for signs on net packs. Apparently, they take their brand seriously, but not seriously enough to not assist in genocide that Russia does to us. Uh, but yeah, enough about that. I will always try to violate their copyright and install uh, any modification that makes um, mad packs look proper and not green or white on red or uh, white on green. They should have red cross on them. <coughs> Just because someone copyrighted it doesn't give them the right to well anything, especially them, that organization, that's so much full of crap. But yeah, enough about bad things, let's talk about Tomb Raider since we're playing it anyway. Uh, I really like this um, um, remake overall, but I haven't gotten too far. I had to restart because I wanted to install this mod for the uh, like inventory items and because again the uh, reason I really decided to restart the game I didn't go far it went like two levels or three in uh, because I I just get triggered by the censored mad packs I mean we're in a war we get we get PTSD from fireworks. Like not, and when I hear air raid sirens in some music track, it's also makes me really uneasy. So hey, doggy dog, doggy dogger dogs. Uh, there's a patch that uh, makes uh, gives Lara more po poses. I also have mods for a lot of weapons, not magnums, but uh, uh, my uh, animal uh, stuff is also modded. Uh, And this, there's a mod that replaces the ingrams with actual Uzis, like the proper ones. Um, shotgun, I got a mod and uh, recolored it myself. Uh, I'm not the author of this texture, but I edited it so it would be light and fit with the how original game looked. Um, so yeah. Let's continue. Yeah, I also have a mod that replaces buttons with PlayStation. Unfortunately, this game doesn't have pose, so the points where I got distracted with my phone or something still have the time ticking. But this is Tomb Raider, there's no reason to rush. There's nothing against people who speedrun it, but yeah, and there's our friend somewhere nearby. Um, the other side of the room. <laughs> I love this tumbling. 
and yeah, it was really hard to see in, in original graphics, but uh, look, no, not that hard now. Uh, it's still, it, it's much brighter in original, but here it's kind of fading out, and for some reason Lara is green, so let's make her ten. Unfortunately, uh, I probably will need to install a mod that uh, changes her skin tone, but it, it's a little bit problematic because it needs to... Uh, problematic in its uh, in uh, the fact that I need to have all mods that like change her body color for each outfit skin, and they need to match. While currently I have her skin for her hair, and um, I don't think you can climb here, right? You need to jump all the way there. Okay. <laughs> One of the most annoying parts in the game. Uh, maybe it's not like actually like proper annoying. It's just uh, so sully icicles. Uh, if you know Matvienka, Russian uh, alcoholic parliament member. Um, she said that uh, tearing down uh, communal workers tearing down the icicles with a crowbar uh, or a pipe or something, it's too outdated. We need to use lasers to remove them. So then people and Russians both teased her a lot because that's just dumb, okay? And. I think this looks really nice. The original uh, preset that I used for the... Um, there's an achievement to have him stand on both legs. And I'm trying to get it, but... I don't think it, it actually wants. Oh no, I think... Okay, the bear is down. Lara? Um... And I want... I want to break free. I want to break free. Okay, this is like one place in the game where the original light is darker. Mm. But look fine. Also, the bear's texture is changed. Um, it's not as goofy as original. And I didn't manage to get him to stand on two legs, but I have a separate video for that. I like how they introduce pressure plates and time stuff. Because, uh, like, a uh, good game design, like, you get distracted by a mad pack and then you see the door close. And then you know that how the pressure plate works. I think to get magnums, you need uh, to do that puzzle in Greece uh, with very similar. Um. <laughs> I think I have a mod that remasters the sounds, by the way. So yeah, uh, like comment, subscribe. I'll uh, start from the bear spot uh, and continue playing right there in the next uh, video. This was Kasumirina. Like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.